So today we're going to be solving this integral, which usually comes up as an introductory example in the classes on Feynman's trick of integration, but we are not going to be solving it using the Feynman's trick of integration, because I would like to show you guys a, in my opinion, more interesting approach to this problem. And so, how do we solve it? First of all, we still have to get rid of this ln of x, even without differentiating with respect to the parameter that we will put in the power of the x, but... Well, we still have to do it. How do we do it? I would like to make myself the u sub of the ln of x equal to negative u. That will make my dx equal to negative e to the negative u du. And as to the bounds of integration, whenever x is equal to 0, ln of x is negative infinity. And then u is just, well, tending towards infinity. Whenever x is equal to 1, I will get my u equal to the negative natural log of, of 1, which is negative 0, that's 0, that's my u sub there, and I'm going to use it to rewrite my integral at hand as the integral from infinity to 0, pretty weird, isn't it, to of, of e to the negative u minus 1 over negative u and then negative e to the negative u all with respect to you. So those two negatives here and here cancel each other out. I don't really like those bounds here. I mean, they just look weird. I'm gonna multiply everything through here by a negative one and then switch those bounds of integration to get it in zero and infinity respectively. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna just write my integral here as the integral from zero to infinity of, and that is gonna be e to the negative u, e to the negative u minus e to the negative two times u all over a positive u the u, I also distributed this e to the negative u across the integral right there, awesome. So now, I would like to perform the inverse of the Feynman's trick. So the Feynman's trick is all about the differentiating under the integral sign, I would like to integrate under the integral sign, which might sound weird, but well, it is even weirder than you might think. So I would like to evoke this definition of one over u, which is the integral from zero to infinity, of e to the u and then times t with respect to the t. So, well, I would like to plug this into integral and how the hell is it gonna help us? You will see in just a few seconds. So, I'd like to write my integral as the integral from zero to infinity of e to the negative u minus e to the negative double du and then times, I'm gonna just parenthesize this thing here and I'm also sure that I will be too yeah, too far above, so, and then times integral from 0 to infinity of, that was supposed to be negative there, e to the negative u times t dt, I'm gonna have to close it all off with the du, perfect. But now, well, the nice thing is that this integral here is just with respect to the t, and so u is just a constant with respect to the t. Hmm, that's nice, I can just go on and multiply everything in this yellow integral through by the orange exponentials in the integral on the right hand side what i'm gonna get after doing that is a huge yellow integral so a, an actually double integral from zero to infinity from zero to infinity of e to the negative u minus e to the negative double du and then times e to the negative u times t dt and then du and now now is the time for the trick I'd like to switch the order of integration here. So I really, really care about having the u, the du first and then the dt second. Right, so you're gonna see in just a few seconds, but now, can I do it? Well, I can. The integral consists only of just, well, exponentials with negative variables in the exponents, and it's all taken over a positive reals. Okay, well, that's awesome because all of these things, all of the stuff is gonna be convergent for sure. It is also continuous. No problem in changing the order of integration there. So I'm just gonna write this thing as the, well, I'm not gonna write this. I'm too lazy for that. I'm just gonna change du dt like this. But now, what is the nice thing about what I did here? I can now just notice and say that this bit right here, oh no, that this bit right here, this integral of those exponentials with respect to the du is actually just the Laplace transform of the function e to the negative u minus e to the negative double du. And then, you know, with the parameter t, with the variable t. 
Well, that's huge, because I can just rewrite this entire integral I've got here as the integral from 0 to infinity of the Laplace transform of e to the negative u minus e to the negative double du and then dt. Why is it so huge? It's huge because the Laplace transform being a linear operator of e to the negative, let's say, a times u with this you know, parameter t, variable t, is going to give me 1 over a plus t. And I can use this fact to rewrite this integral right here as the integral from 0 up to infinity of e of 1 over and then 1 plus t and then minus 1 over 2 plus t all with respect to t isn't it lovely awesome but now well this is something that i can integrate and i know how to integrate this is just a standard u sub this thing right here is going to be the ln of 1 plus t and then he then this thing here is going to be the ln of t plus 2 i'm going to get this entire thing equal to just about the natural log of the using the properties of um, logarithms t plus 1 all over t plus 2 in the bounds of 0 and infinity and now when this thing here approaches oh no when t approaches infinity this thing here approaches a 1 you can just divide both numerator and denominator by a t and see it for yourself so the upper bound is gonna give us the natural log of 1 and then minus whenever t is zero that's gonna be the natural log of a half and so well whenever ln of because ln of one is equal to zero we will get that this entire thing is just the negative ln of one half but now sucking this negative sign inside of this natural log we'll get this all just the natural log of two beautiful isn't it <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it and see you in the next one